This is the Draeger Baby Log Ventilator. Let's take a little close-up of this patient and the ventilator. Here we see the infant connected to the endotube. And notice we have a couple of important aspects to look at. One is this temperature probe at the patient within about uh, 12 inches. Up here, if you look, is a sensor that measures inspiratory and expiratory flow and translates that into volume. Now, blue inspiration, how do we know that? Well, that's because the temperature probe is always on the inspiratory side. If it's on the expiratory side, then the machine will not be able to maintain the heat and it may overheat or underheat the infant. Okay, so that's inspiratory side is the temperature probe and then we have the Y, the expiratory line here. Take a closer look at the tubing and you can see that there is heated wire in that circuit to reduce the amount of water condensation. Let's take a look at the baby log circuit. We have the ventilator here, we have the outflow to the humidifier and you can tell that by the fact that here we have an arrow pointing out it goes to the top of the humidifier and then we have our thermometer port on top of the, uh, the, the canister for the water canister and that then follows all the way up to the patient up here. The blue line goes to the patient that is inspiratory and you can see that we have here the heated wire connection and the heated wire in the tubing. It returns by way of the expiratory line and we have an expiratory heating line here that would connect to the heating unit of the Fisher Paykel. Now the water bag for delivering sterile water is connected on top of the humidifier canister. This heating plate here slides in together. This is disposable and we have the adjustable temperature for the humidifier and down here we have the plus or minus factor which will either dry out the heated tubing by increasing or decreasing the heating to the wire. We have the uh, chamber temperature, we have standby for um, putting the patient, the hu humidifier on standby when we're changing the tubing, etc. Uh, we also have the heated wire and alarm silence. On this side you see all of the indicators in case something is going wrong with the heating unit. That is the circuit in story line coming out of the ventilator to the patient returning to the ventilator here. Now let's take a look at the baby log itself. We have the digital display up here, we have the control features here, and we have the gas outlet and inlet or return. On the back side of the ventilator, on the back side we have the high pressure hoses, oxygen and air, and also way up here is a little toggle switch Way up here is a little flap that allows us to turn the ventilator on, holding this up and pressing this button in. And it flops down so that it cannot be inadvertently turned off. You have an inlet filter here which should be changed periodically as uh, dust accumulates in the ventilator uh, in the filter and would not allow the ventilator to maintain cooling. Some analog outputs here as well. An RS-232 computer port there so that this machine can be 
so that this machine can be connected up to a computer for graphics display. Let's take a look at the controls here. We have oxygen and this is a light green to help you uh, see that it's oxygen. A variable uh, oxygen setting from 21 all the way up to 100%. Notice in the mode that we are in at this point all of these are functional. Okay, time of inspiratory, time of expiratory, T little i n, inspiratory, T e x is expiratory time. Now we maintain the rate for the patient by the balance between i and e.